Welcome to our 2020 Staff Awards. Now, I wanted to start by thanking you all for the last 12 months. It's been incredibly tough for everybody. And on behalf of the Board of Directors and our patients and their families, a big thank you to all of you. Now, normally we'd invite you to a ceremony which would take place at the start of the year. However, because of COVID, we're doing things differently. But actually, announcing our 2020 winners virtually means we can all be part of this awards ceremony. And personally, I think that's quite appropriate because we've all been part of a difficult year. Everyone, teams and individuals have gone way beyond the care of duty in caring for each other, our patients and families during the pandemic. So this year, we've introduced two new Working Differently Awards because it's important to recognise the extraordinary achievements during the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have seen each and every one of you step up magnificently to fight against this pandemic. As an appreciation for your hard work and commitment, you will therefore all soon receive a special thank you card with a pin badge to keep or wear at work. And this pin symbolises how proud we are of you and I hope you will wear it with pride too. Thanks Alison. We will start with the Personal Achievement Award. This year we have two winners. And the first is Juliet Newton, who is a healthcare assistant in cardiology. Juliet overcame her own personal fears when she came to aid the COVID phase one response by offering her support as a HCA. She was redeployed from her receptionist role in paediatrics to Forrester Brown Ward for five weeks. Juliet immersed herself in the job and had an amazing experience. She enjoyed it so much she decided to become a HCA. She's really enjoying the role and continues to make a valuable contribution to the team and the patients in their care. Congratulations, Juliet. And the second Personal Achievement Award winner is, is Krishna Dino, who's an advanced orthopaedic practitioner. Under the supervision of Dr. Richard Edwards, Krishna has undertaken training to perform a new procedure to offer continuous pain relief to frail elderly patients who have hip fractures. In doing so, she single-handedly provided a new and invaluable service to those patients, which also reduces potential complications. Oh, wow, thank you. Oh. Oh, now, on to the Volunteer of the Year Award. I'd just like to say that we are so lucky to have lots of caring volunteers, and they make a huge difference to us and our patients. But the winner of this award this year is Keith Getheridge. And Keith first became involved with the Forever Friends Appeal after the loss of his wife Wendy, who passed away here. In her honour, he set up a tribute fund and has raised an incredible £25,000 towards the new Dyson Cancer Centre. And on top of this, Keith took on the volunteer housekeeping role on our surgical short stay ward during the pandemic. He's clocked up an amazing 576 hours and even comes in to help on audit days. Keith's a fantastic ambassador. He does everything with a huge smile on his face and we are so thankful for your support, Keith. Lovely, thank you very much indeed. That's very kind of you. The next award that I'm going to present is the Outstanding Student of the Year Award. And the winner is Doug McKenzie, who is a mechanical engineering apprentice. Doug works continuously beyond the expectations of an apprentice. His attitude to work and the quality of his work is exceptional. He has really shone as an individual and went above the expectations of an apprentice throughout the pandemic. He volunteered to cover gaps in the mechanical on-call rotor, which was an important lifeline for the department. Doug is a valued member within the estates team, not just for the outstanding hard work he does, but because those who work with him describe him as being one of the nicest human beings you'll ever met. Well done, Doug. You're a fantastic asset to that team. We're going to now recognise staff who've achieved a loyalty award in 2020 for 25 and 35 years continuous service at our hospitals. The following staff have achieved 25 years continuous service. And we're now going to recognise staff who've achieved a loyalty award for an astonishing 35 years continuous service. And finally, last but not least, a huge congratulation to Eileen Osborne completing 45 years continuous service. Thank you, Eileen. 
Each year we recognise the achievements of our colleagues in nursing and midwifery and whilst we weren't able to hold our annual nursing and midwifery conference last year, we were able to present the awards to the winners who were Shane Upham who won the Care and Compassion Award for his work as a newly qualified nurse on Pierce Ward. His manner towards patients and staff within the multidisciplinary team is exemplary. Zara March won the award for Making a Difference for her work in developing the perinatal mental health service in maternity, where there were previously very limited support and provision. Sarah Clark won the 2020 Nurse of the Year Award for her work in the Acute Stroke Unit. She's a dedicated, motivated sister who listens with empathy and always comforts patients, relatives and staff in her role. And we were also delighted to present a special commendation, the Making a Difference Award to Renee Ordners for her support to our overseas nurses. Congratulations to you all. Now, moving on to the Improving Patient Experience Award. The winners are the Inflammatory Bowel Disease Outpatient Clinic team, which is led by Dr. David Walker. Over the last year, the team has implemented several new services, including outpatient clinics, telephone consultations, and a virtual clinic. With the new services up and running, they then asked patients for their feedback to find out if any improvements could be made that would make a difference to their care. Using this feedback, they have made some really impressive improvements to empower their patients to understand their condition and improve confidence in self-managing it. I'd love to congratulate you on all your hard work. It's clear that your work is truly making a huge difference to your patients, so really well done. And now I'm delighted to present the 2020 Research and Development Award, which recognises the exceptional commitment to the future of healthcare. And this award goes to the Trustwide research team. The entire research delivery team since the start of the pandemic have gone above and beyond to support the national and international research response to COVID-19. Almost overnight, all staff were redeployed to set up and run essential COVID research studies at scale and pace. This required agility, the ability to quickly acquire new knowledge and skills and fantastic team spirit. The trials undertaken by our team have increased our understanding of this new disease and found new treatments. The team has also played a key role in regional COVID vaccine clinical trials, leading directly to the development of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. Each and every member, no matter what their role, should be exceptionally proud of the impact that they've had on finding a way out of this pandemic. Now we move on to the 2020 Patient Safety and Quality Improvement Award. The winner is Heather Boys. She is the lead for claims and inquests. Heather has worked really closely with clinical teams and taken on a key role in supporting learning from deaths and serious incidents. She offers a fresh perspective and has the ability to deal with complex situations with compassion and empathy. As a result of Heather's work, the patient safety agenda has moved forward remarkably, especially in our ability to look at different sources of information that allow us to see trends and themes. Massive congratulations, Heather, really well done. I'm not long enough, not, no, not what to say. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, thank you. Moving on to the 2020 Chief Executive Customer Care of the Year Award. The winner has been chosen from the list of individuals who received one of the Chief Executive's special monthly awards last year. And I'm delighted to announce that our winner is Adam Wright, who works for cleaning services on Forest and Brown Ward. He helps support the ward staff, visitors and patients on the ward without exception. He is always patient and is a great patient advocate, ensuring their voices are heard. He takes on board's ideas and actively encourages and supports others. Adam's cheerfulness certainly made the ward a positive and happier place. Well done, Adam. That's amazing. Put this on my shelf. Yeah. I'm delighted to present the new Chief Executive Customer Care of the Year Award which is about working differently to three of our colleagues. Sarah Hillman, the Senior Advanced Critical Care Practitioner, Dr. Steve Laver, Associate Specialist Anesthesia, and Lorna Cotton, Specialist Nurse Practitioner from Guiney Outpatients. They have won this award for their excellent response to an issue that arose which required them to work together, coordinate, 
and deliver a time critical welfare intervention to support a frail elderly relative and his dying wife. Without their spontaneous intervention, the relative's wife would have died alone in ICU and he would have had to deal with the news of her deterioration and subsequent death alone and without support. Despite being in the midst of the COVID pandemic, they offered emotional and psychological support to a vulnerable individual. What they did showed empathy, courage, care and compassion and we are so proud of them. We'll move on now to the Chief Executive Highly Commended Award. And the winner is Helen Witham, Senior Biomedical Scientist. Now before I announce the winners of Team of the Year and the Most Innovative Team of the Year Award, let's take a look back at our 2020 Team of the Month winners. They were the Specialist Palliative Care Team for an outstanding ongoing commitment to quality improvement and innovation, the Urology Outpatient Nurses for initiating and implementing a new urgent drop-in clinic for patients. The Optometry Medical Retina Team for developing new services to ensure patients are seen within two weeks. The Discharge Hub Team for setting up the hub in just 14 days and their proactive approach in embedding this service into the hospital. And the AXPAS Team for developing their course in a virtual program making it the only service of its kind in the UK and possibly the world. And now I'm delighted to announce that the winners of the 2020 Team of the Year Award is the Discharge Hub Team. Congratulations. Let's just remind ourselves what this team has done. In preparation for winter, the team helped set up a fully functioning Discharge Hub in just 14 days to support the timely discharge of patients and the flow through the hospital to free up beds for new patient admissions. They've made the hub a warm and welcoming environment and the feedback from patients has been really positive. Importantly, we've also seen a notable improvement in the number of patients being discharged from the wards and this has had a direct and positive impact on patient flow. Thank you all for your hard work and congratulations on winning this award. I am. <laughs> now I'm going to announce the winners of the Most Innovative Team of the Year Award. It's the Specialist Palliative Care Team. In the last year, they've had a 23% increase in patient referrals, embraced seven-day working and seen a 79% increase in clinical activity in the last five years. Despite this, they've continued to lead on quality improvement, training and innovation in palliative and end-of-life care. They have an incredible work ethic and a can-do attitude and actively seek to work with others to help support, coordinate and respond to patient care. The team is making such a difference to our patients, their families and our staff. Congratulations to all of you on receiving this award. We'd also like to acknowledge the hard work of three of our teams with the highly commended Team of the Year Working Differently Award. Theatres, for their hard work and continued adaptability throughout the COVID-19 crisis. The expanded intensive care team for their work throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, looking after critically ill patients in incredibly challenging circumstances. The Oncology, Haematology, Chemotherapy and Day Unit for all the work that you've done to maintain safe and efficient outpatient chemotherapy and supportive services during the COVID-19 outbreak. Congratulations to you all. And finally, the 2020 Team of the Year Working Differently Award. We have two winning teams, both of which have demonstrated an innovative and inclusive approach during the COVID-19 pandemic and have contributed to the achievement of our Trust Vision and True North goals. The winners are the ICC and Staffing Command Team and the Fit Testing Team. Congratulations. The ICC and Staffing Command Team was set up at the start as a COVID response to coordinate information flows, support staff queries, process staff sickness, arrange COVID swabbing and antibody testing. This dedicated team was made up of redeployed staff who have had to adapt and learn new skills to provide a 24 hour, seven days a week service. They also put into operation a trust track and trace system to ensure that the hospital has not suffered large outbreaks of COVID amongst staff. 
The team demonstrated openness to learning and have faced frequent changes to processes as the response has evolved over time. Well done on winning this award, it's really well deserved. The fit testing team have been some of the unsung heroes of our COVID-19 approach, working throughout the pandemic period on site to support our frontline staff. This team is made up of clinical and non-clinical staff and is staffed to full-time rota, including some evenings and weekends. They all pulled together in a time of crisis to learn a new skill in something that they had never heard of prior to COVID-19. All members of the team educated themselves on matters surrounding PPE and IPC to be able to offer assurance and advice to support their frontline colleagues. The team looked after and developed one another and they worked together to strengthen and care for the community by offering their services to GPs, dentists and care homes with requests from as far away as Froome and Portishead and they continue to support Circle Bath by testing staff there. We were doing seven days a week, um, but without our volunteers and also without the support of the PPE team as well. So it's been a lot of goodwill from other people and um, the team have been amazing. They are an incredible team of people who have demonstrated the trust values and shown the very best of what this organisation is about. Congratulations to every one of you. As our 2020 Staff Awards ceremony has come to an end, I would like to thank you all for joining us today in what's an important celebration to recognise the remarkable individuals and teams we have working here at our Trust. I'd also like to thank the members of the Staff Awards Committee and the Communications team for creating this year's virtual awards ceremony. Congratulations to our winners and thank you to everyone for making a difference. I would encourage you all to nominate colleagues and teams during 2021.